Hello, this is now my second video on how to enhance your self-hypnosis. Give you a little kind of, you see, pro tips. My name is Andy, I'm an NLP hypnotherapist based in sunny Edinburgh, Scotland. So let's get to it. In the last video, we spoke about peripheral vision, wide vision, as we call it, stop the world. And this really gets us into a very relaxed up-tempo. We pick a spot, it takes our conscious mind, it grabs our attention and open wide vision and this automatically starts relaxing you to enhance this i want you now to soften your jaw just slightly and hinge it by a couple of millimeters like this and when i do that and then just let my shoulders hang from my ears and that's not a hypnotic suggestion soft jaw and what it does actually activates our vagus nerve. When we activate the vagus nerve, it sends oxygen all through our nervous system, amongst many other things. I'm not a neuroscientist, but soft jaw is the first thing. So we've got wide vision, soft jaw. And then, as I say, the piece de resistance is we let our tongue just drop to the bottom of our mouth. Like that. Just try it. So again, you pick a spot, wide vision, soft jaw, then the tongue down. And you'll notice, or not notice, what happens, the chattery mind in your head. Because when our tongue drops, you'll get relief from that chattery mind. It just goes quiet. And maybe another video to come, I'll explain why. It's all based on neuroscience. It was discovered, this technique, by a Colombian neurosurgeon. There you go. We'll hear that every day. So, to recap, when you're doing your self-hypnosis practice, adding those three techniques to the self-hypnosis ramps it up and gives you far more success in getting hypnotized. It really works if you work it. In the next video, I'll keep adding stuff until we all become great self-hypnotists. Take care. Bye.